Thousands of academics, scientists and civil society members from around the world took part in the annual Global March for Science. Well, that march is aimed at celebrating the impact and the importance of science. The Devon chapter of the March for Science meets Sagarin Naikam. In 1994, he discovered he had a heart problem. 20 years later, he had a heart transplant. He says without science and technology, he wouldn't be alive. Without the transplant, I would have, I would be no more. Uh, basically, come from, when you look at the transplant with the history of it being for the last 50 years, initially with transplants, your recipients weren't able to survive because of the lack of the knowledge in terms of the medication and the immune, uh, anti-immune suppressants. This march is also aimed at making science popular amongst the youth. We as students also appreciate science because as medical students we are scientists first and foremost and we want to make sure that people in South Africa know about science. Science is not just there for people to experiment and say oh well that's how it's done but it is actually for them to find solutions to the problems that we are facing. Organizers hope more African countries will take part in this initiative in years to come. South Africa must invest in science. Today, both Nigeria and South Africa, the only two uh, countries in Africa march to show the importance of science. The science is important for health and for wealth. If we want to be a rich country, uh, we have to get our government to invest in science. South Africans were also praised for making notable contributions in many spheres of science. Mungisi Kumalom, SAPC News, Durban.